Good evening, champions, and welcome to tonight's Space Grand Challenge kickoff. I'm Bill Britton, Chief Information Officer, located somewhere in the universe and working at Cal Poly. We've got quite a challenge for you this year in the Space Grand Challenge 2024. I'd like to welcome you, challenge you, and ask you to do your best job possible. With that, I'm gonna hand it over to our leader, Henry Danielson, to kick us off. Greetings, everyone, and welcome, Cybernauts, to the Space Grand Challenge. As you can see, I'm up in my space vehicle, uh, checking out Earth and some fun stuff that might happen this year. I'm very, very excited to see all of you, and I want to welcome you again. First of all, thank you so much, Bill and his um, happiness and darkness. Uh, we're very excited for Space Grand Challenge this year. Again, my name is Henry Danielson, and thanks to everyone involved, we are so excited you are here. So I'd like to discuss the game dynamics briefly and how the gameplay works. So, There are Unity rooms or locations that will have you walk around just like a game and try to figure out the challenges and actually solve the crime. There has been some serious hacking going on in space and we need your help. The analysis side or the forensic side all contain puzzles and challenges. You are going to remote desktop into an EC2 instance and try to figure out of interest. Remember to collect clues for your forensics investigation. Create a report. Revert back to it. You're going to need to know exactly all the different parts. There could be some red herrings in there as well. We are gonna compete from teams all over the United States in a game-based, again, 3D immersive environment. And we wanna enhance all of you to learn about cybersecurity and space. The satellite cybercrime needs your support to help solve Mission Luna. This year, we're dropping 5G on the moon that will be soon in your hands. Maybe the 5G has some security. Definitely want you to be able to support and help. And we want all the teams to do their best. So the story begins as the Moonshot Satellite's ground control team discovers that threat actors have initiated a cyber event. It has been deployed on the network. The network connection to the controls linking ground control to the satellite network has been breached slash hacked. The future of the safety of this multi-billion dollar company is at stake. The game is mapped also to the NICE framework so that you can learn wonderful things about cybersecurity as you roll through our wonderful game. I want to thank the Cal Poly students, all of them, on every one of their channels, helping us in Discord during the game. Also, Cal Poly students have created this game for you. They are very excited about what they've created and the new possibilities that you will come to learn about tomorrow. I also want to thank everyone on the back end um, Bill, Dustin, Kayvon, Katie, definitely Rob. As a matter of fact, Rob, can you talk to a friend here, Henry Danielson, and turn your turn your camera on and say hi to the friends and family? Uh, this is Rob. Hi, uh, Henry, and welcome everyone to SGC 2024. Woo! 
All right. And again, this has been a long time coming. We are very, very excited that all of you are here. And Rob has been behind the scene helping us out, doing all kinds of crazy cool stuff to make sure the game runs with uh, the best possible way it can. Scoreboard will be up tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we do start from 9.15 uh, and we go uh, until 5. Oh my goodness. I think we might have alien presence. Bill, is, is that you? Test, wolf, wolf, test. This channel has been disrupted. I'm not here. Wow. I think we have a hacker amongst us. And I, I can't even tell you how excited and happy I am uh, to, to move forward. So tomorrow you will be joining Discord if you haven't already. Hopefully you did your pre fault qualifications so that you can play the game immediately as well as RDP. And so couple notes, make sure that you just are patient with yourself and give yourself a little time when you start up the EC2 instance. It may take 10 minutes. So my suggestion is possibly start the EC2, wait a little while, and then go into some of the locations. Remember, Space Grand Challenge is about collaboration, cooperation, critical thinking, and having a lot of fun. We are very excited for you, and we can't wait to share this wonderful um, Cal Poly. So right now, without further ado, and again, thanks for all the participants in the webinar right now. We love all of you. And we are going to switch over really quick to a guest video. We have a guest speaker today, and I'm very, very excited. Um, we are going to talk with and listen to Lieutenant Colonel Majewski from Space Force right around the corner here at Vandenberg. So stand by for the transmission. Stand by. All right. Welcome, everybody, back to Space Grand Challenge. I'm Henry Danielson today, and we have a wonderful distinguished guest today with our opening ceremonies. Turn it over to you. Welcome to the opening ceremonies of the Space Grand Challenge. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Jake Majewski, and I'm the commander of the 65th Cyberspace Squadron located at Vandenberg Space Force Base. Good luck in the competition. All right, thank you so much. And so can you tell us what your role is uh, in the 65th Cyberspace Squadron? Yeah, Henry, as a commander, I have the privilege to lead a team of United States Space Force cyber operators tasked to defend critical cyber networks needed to uh, conduct space launch and test activities. We do this through a combination of cyber detect, response, and threat hunting activities that are planned and synchronized with each space launch campaign. Awesome. And again, I really appreciate your time today. Uh, and can you share with us the importance and role cybersecurity in the 65th uh, plays in supporting the Western Range operations, uh, for example, and launch activities. Yeah, Henry, so we can't launch rockets and payloads into space without the networks uh, that generate tel telemetry, uh, command and control, uh, and just the data that is needed to make go and no-go decisions. So my team is here to defend those networks and ensure that data is, hasn't been uh, messed with by the adversary. Yeah, and the compromises that could happen, right? I mean, this is a part of our nation and our world. And again, from me and all the students playing Space Grand Challenge, thank you for your service. Um, can you please highlight the experience of playing Space Grand Challenge and how it can help students develop their cyber skills for career opportunities in the private and public sectors, especially, again, where am I swag today? The Space Force. Yeah, Henry, so although uh, we, we do all that stuff I told you about uh, with, a, with a lot of different technology, we can't do it without the people uh, and our talented and dedicated guardians that are on my team, uh, and many of which can trace their interest in cybersecurity back to their time in middle school and high school. Uh, additionally, many of them uh, participated in uh, capture the flag events and other events like Space Grand Challenge uh, that really was useful to allow them to, to explore their curiosity uh, and advance their skills in the cyber domain. Awesome. 
So any last thoughts about uh, space and cybersecurity that, that you have on your head that you'd like to impart to the students? Yeah, uh, Henry, so like I said, uh, many of our folks uh, use these types of events to, uh, to better their skills, uh, to really dig in on their curiosity and build some creative uh, uh, thoughts. Uh, so it, those three attributes are critical to an effective uh, cyberspace professional. So I would challenge uh, the participants today to use this and future space brand challenges to explore and learn new cyber skills that in the future can be leveraged to help defend our critical private public networks against malicious cyber actors. Awesome. So I have one more that I'm just going to add. What's your favorite part of your job? What do you like that you do every day? So I love being able to work with the talented guardians uh, within my team and really tackle challenging problems. Every day it's a different uh, challenge, uh, but based off of uh, their creativity uh, and the resourcing we've been able to provide, we, we can conquer and, and, and uh, defeat each of those challenges. Awesome. Thank you so much today for your time. Uh, I know you're very busy uh, traveling all over the planet as well as uh, keeping our assets, space assets safe. And we really appreciate your uh, experience as well as um, participating in this. We hope to get some of your guardians out here uh, for Space Grand Challenge to be able to say hi to all the kids and, and do some fun stuff. And again, thank you so much for your time today. And uh, I hope you have a great day. And thanks again. Thanks, Henry. All right, welcome every. All right, we are back. And I just wanted to take my uh, mask off and share all of you. If you haven't seen me before, what I do look like. Uh, very excited to, again to be here today. I wanted to do a, a quick thank to our sponsors um, for their wonderful contributions. Um, I'd like to take the opportunity to acknowledge uh, all the generosity uh, that helped pay for our competition. Their support helps us keep our Space Grand Challenge free while also giving critical work experience to our students. The Cal Poly students work really hard on this. A special thank you to our friends at AWS, Elementrix, Splunk, and Splashtop. And Aerospace Village also on there. And I wanna make a special shout out to Simply Cyber, our inaugural media partner, and again, our community partners, Aerospace Village and Paradigm Cyber Ventures as well. Thank you for all of your steadfast support. And we, we love and care and all of you. And I hope tomorrow uh, you get to see some of them on our Twitch channel. Remember, Twitch Live will be uh, starting also at 9.15. And I have one final thing to let you know, and we'll be answering a few questions. Finally, to all those watching who want to invest in our culture of learn by doing, I invite you to support our students through our own crowdfunding, cam crowdfunding campaign. Any amount of gift. That link in the chat. And thank you for uh, considering that. Uh, it is a bitly. It is safe. As a cyber expert, I can guarantee that it is safe and you will have no problems using this bitly. So trust. And I'm telling you to verify. All right. Uh, again, I'm going to answer a few quick questions. Look over here uh, in the chat to see if there's anything um, I can answer that wasn't answered already. Um, thank you. Uh, thank you. Remind all the teams. Um, let's see. I don't understand how the students will connect to play. Uh, they go on to an email that they have received. They log into the Space Grand Challenge uh, wonderful website uh, run by AWS, and they're able to log in and they click links to go on to the Unity locations. And then they also go to the analysis component, uh, and then they're able to remote desktop into an EC2 instance that allows them to go on to a virtual machine and play the rest of the game. Or the EC2 instance and three hours for the Unity, which is wonderful because that means seven hours of happy, fun uh, cybersecurity in space tomorrow. Um, is Discord required to be used by the students as they compete? Yes, another great question. Uh, that is true. Uh, they are put in a specific Discord channel 
all of them together. On Discord is used for teamwork and exposes them to wonderful ways to communicate and uh, collaborate together. Um, we get into the virtual machines there. Um, the instructions are on the website, but yes, you will. You're gonna click remote desktop. That is an application that you'll need to have on your computer. Uh, again, on the main page of Space Grand Challenge, we actually share how the remote top desktop uh, you're able to get in. Also, there are support staff, uh, Cal Poly students that created the game that will be online on Discord to be able to answer questions and be able to help them as they uh, go through that. So I think that's all the questions um, that I see. Uh, Bill, Rob, Dustin, Kayvon, everyone, Katie, all the team, Ryan, thank you so much for all your support on the back end. Uh, much love for all of you, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. I'll look for one more questions. We got to thank you, and I think I think we're looking pretty good. And Parker, thank you very much for the good luck to all the participants and all your support on the back end, Parker, uh, and all the Cal Poly students. We'll get to meet a lot of them tomorrow during uh, live Twitch. So again, please stay safe out there. We look forward to everything uh, that you have to offer and speeds and uh, help us stop that satellite hack because we got troubles tomorrow. So thank you very much. And we'll see you all tomorrow, 915. Have a great one.